Okay, I think we might be rearing the end of my Science Center video. Oh, sorry, not Science Center video. Science Center base. Now, I am a big fan of these bases that have glass. It always reminds me so much so of those just big glass buildings. Now, I don't want to say hospital because that was not cool at all. But, um, yeah. Oh, I need to put that thing back. Oops. Fell a little too far. Um. Let me just do that. And then we come back up. And. I don't know if I can put it here, actually. I think we'll just let it be. Okay, so yeah, let's go to the bottom. I will say that the staircase is a little bit weird, how I orientated it, but it's whatever. Okay, so this is my science center base. Uh, some bits of it aren't totally exact um, in terms of um, orientations and correct placements and whatnot, because I made this before the whole control thing happened where you could snap things. Oh, do I not have any materials? Yeah, you could snap things like this. And it has that whole line that indicates parallel and perpendicular placements and whatnot. So yeah, this is uh, my base. Do I have my finger play on me? Yeah, I do. Alright. And right here, to go upstairs, we have two staircases. Actually, we have three. We have one there. Where my speedies go. We have this one, which I kind of favor more, but it's very um, inconvenient having to do these staircases, but it's fine because I like it. It's nice and open. And I have these little glowy things, the signs that show me and people outside if I ever have guests over my base and which way to go just to help orientate them. And this slightly is stuck, of course. But yeah, here's another staircase. Okay, so they are getting lost here. So this is not a good sign. What I will have to do now is in fact just put a little kitty hat here just to make everyone happy. Except for me, of course. And now we just put that there. And let me just cap it real quick. Okay, back to the base. So you just have to do that whenever like you see gunk on the floor that's where they that's where they get lost and it's a big no-no so yeah we have yeah it's happening up here too oh yeah I've been up here. oh no that's a big no-no i need to see how far this is to the staircase okay, it's not that bad all right so yeah and right here oh my transporters are slacking yeah, we got lots of rows of ore. We have probably, really, how much stone do we have? 500k wood, 500k stone. What about sulfur? I don't know how much sulfur we have. But we have a lot of stuff. We don't have any coal. There's no coal here. Let me see the sulfur real quick. Oh my god, we got 250k. Okay, well, whatever. Anyways, we got a lot of transports, and pretty much it's just like every other base that's independent and whatnot. Except the cake. I... I have dedicated my breeding to a different base, my breeding base. And yeah, so we got lots of ore. I think it's just way too much for the palace to really just transport just because I have, they're all perfect workers, you know, maxed out 236 something or other work speed. Um, and these guys are just either getting lost or uh, I think he's doing his magic where he's able to, he's able to like withdraw things from these places from his own, he's literally just Drax, let me just put it that way. But, yeah, so this is the Science Center, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, really nothing here is just science-y, like, I should be putting on some foliage here and there, but... Like, no, this was my first ever base I think I made, when I started the server. Right, so we got the arrows there, I love the glass, it just makes it all look so much better. And right here is this path that I have. You literally, literally was when I was a noob and I wanted to use these mounted crossbows for a defense. 
like the ultimate defense sort of thing to hunt down all of That's a nice IV. To hunt down all of the intruders, but um, yeah. And then I also have this bridge for when I did have the rush ore. I would ride my dire howl up here. Oops. I would ride my dire howl up here and then just go right here. And you see my fire, my campfire. And I would just start ramming these things left and right. And then I just fierce fang my way down, down the hill. But yeah, this is the base. It looks a lot nicer than it uh, was. Don't mind that hole. I welcome any pal that's able to get in there, which they literally cannot, because <laughs> there's no way they can get in. And yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. Oh, we also have an entrance down here. Oh no, we have an entrance just around the corner. Yeah, right here. And I left that open for the villager, or the... What's the guy just called? The merchant to come inside. Yeah, so this is my science center build, my base. It's, it's really nothing fancy. It just looks nice because it's just open, but glass makes it look glass makes everything look better. And the more stories you can add, the better. I unfortunately just did not. After building that one base that took me like an hour and a half to make from my ultimate base video, I got tired. Like glass was just a pain. Um, and it would every single time you place it down, the particles that happen lag you to oblivion. It's just awful. But yeah. Here is my butcher station. I like this station a lot, actually. Let me just go put this guy to work. I like this station a lot because there's a little tiny ramp at the end. Let me see what I can stuff them in. I can use those guys. Any other ones? I have a lot of cryolinks because I was building those guys up. But yeah, so what happens here is, yep, these guys grab it, and it just flows down this hill. And I, I let a little stairwell up so that they can just go up and grab it. It's in their it's in their transport vicinity where they're able to grab things. And yeah, I, 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 I just love how they're able to just all work as a team. It's just, it's, a, it's freaking AI. Of course, their AI is going to be able to like program it that way or whatever, but regardless, it looks nice. And I want to showcase this one last part over here, where I kind of just threw everything together, sort of. I have a tiny little lounge here. It's a cute little lounge, and believe it or not, you can in fact sit down. Oh, wrong one. Let me just. And then you gotta face this way. Sit in chair. Well, I kind of missed it, but you get the idea. Ah. Okay, here we go. You see? We're actually sitting in the chair, kind of. But yeah, and it's actually just like you're, you're, you're looking, right? It looks so nice. It doesn't look magnificent nice, not like my other base, but I, I personally find it pretty nice. It's nice and open, it's pretty much what I really like about it. It's nice and open, these dudes are able to just move all around. And what I was going to do if I'm gonna, if I were to restart, which I really hate breeding, honestly it's just such a pain in the butt. But if I were to ever restart, what I would do is I would make it so that I only have like four mining nodes available. So that all the pals that are transporting, like I have I think a 60 to 20, 10, 10 ratio in terms of transport and other pals. I think that what I would do is make only a few nodes, like one of every, I don't know, yeah, one of every mining station a few plants with uh, maybe a fully ascended Lulu and fully ascended Frostalian Nox because um, I only have one that's fully ascended not here but at my other base but yeah this is the base it's kind of all over the place when it comes to these things like these aren't even correctly parallel to one another they're kind of crooked I think are they crooked I don't know but I don't really care but yeah so this is that base. I'll see you guys in the next video for the next base. Peace.